Good morning, my lovely people. Let me start by welcoming you once again to my YouTube channel, whereby we always give you educational bangers and more so as per your requests. I know many of people, many of you, have been asking why I've uh, have not been posting for the past two or three days. And then uh, let me uh, just say that I've been busy with other issues. And as we know, these videos need time for, uh, for one to compose and make a video. It requires a lot of time, a lot of input. So it's not something you can do in a rush. So whenever you, you, you wake up and find that I've not posted any video, don't worry. We are together in this. And I always give you educational bangers uh, till each one and every one of you gets what uh, he or she wants. For those who are requesting their topics, and some of you, you are complaining your topics have not been discussed, just be patient with me, and in due time your topic will be discussed. For the better part of last week and the past few weeks, we have been talking about uh, biopsies, and uh, today we are starting another topic or another chapter about uh, breast lumps. This is one of the chapters or topics that have been be, uh, been requested by many people because uh, breast lumps are very common, especially to women, more so during their menstrual periods. So if you are there and you have been uh, requesting this topic, I request that you be with me and if you are there and you have not subscribed to this channel, take a minute or two and hit the subscription button and after subscribing make sure you put the notification bell on so that whenever I upload a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you and you will never miss any of our videos. Breast lungs. We start by uh, clarifying one thing, that most breast lumps are non-cancerous. That is the most important thing. Ladies, and each one of you who have been requested this topic, and others who are there and having questions about some tenderness in their breasts, especially during periods or menstrual circles, not all lumps are cancerous and most breast lumps are non-cancerous or meaning that they are benign. Benign means they are not cancerous. One might be surprised to find a breast lump but it's important to remember that it may not affect your long-term health. You may just wake up one day and find that your, your breast is engulfed or it has a, a lump. You don't have to worry much. So, one might be surprised to find a breast lump, but it's important to remember that it may not affect your long-term health. Breast lump can be a sign of cancer. So, even if I'm saying these lumps may not be cancerous. Sometimes breast lumps can be a sign of cancer. And it's wise to always seek a medical evaluation of any lumps or swelling you discover on your breasts. This is very important that breast lumps may sometimes be signs of Cancers. Though we have said most breast lumps are non-cancerous, but sometimes they may be signs of cancer. So, it's wise to always seek a medical evaluation of any lump or swelling you discover on your breast. Don't sit there and say that the doctor said breast lumps are non-cancerous or they are benign. Then when you get a breast lump, you just sit there and saying it's non-cancerous. It's wise 
it's wise to get a medical or seek a medical evaluation of any lump or swelling you discover on your breasts. You might assume that it's non-cancerous. The way I've said that most are bending or non-cancerous. What if it's cancerous? Later you will be saying, oh, the doctor said that most breast lumps are non-cancerous. Remember I've said most breast lumps are non-cancerous. I have not said that all breast lumps are non-cancerous. Get me clearly. So, breasts are commonly associated with women but breast tissue is also found in men that means breast tissue can be found in both men and women it's not for women alone so breasts are commonly associated with the women but breast tissue is also found in men so breast tissues is found in both men and women your hormones affect this tissue your hormones affect this tissue which tissue the breast tissue so your hormones affect this tissue hormonal changes can cause lungs to form and in some cases to naturally disappear so hormones can make this uh, lungs to develop and also hormones can make them disappear so hormonal changes can cause lungs to form and in some cases to naturally disappear breast lumps can develop at any age don't say that breast lumps are for the old or the middle age generation breast lumps can develop to any age and some babies develop breast lumps due to estrogen they get from their mothers during birth. You may find that a small baby or a toddler having some engorgement in the breast. This is because the child got estrogen from the mother during birth. So Breast lumps can develop at any age, and some babies develop breast lump due to estrogen they get from their mothers during birth. This generally clear up as the estrogen levels in their bodies goes down. This goes, this clears. This generally clear up as the estrogen levels in their bodies goes down or the estrogen level leaves their bodies. Pre-pubescent, pre-pubescent stage or pre-pubescent girls, all girls at their pubert, puberty or middle age. Pre, pre, pu, pre pubescent girls sometimes get breast lumps that feel tender or when girls are in their puberty stage they get some lumps that feel tender that's what i mean this usually go away naturally during puberty so these always come during the puberty stage or pre pre, pre, pu, pre pubescent stage Adolescent boys can also get breast lumps during puberty. Adolescent boys can also get breast lumps during puberty. These are temporarily and usually disappear in a few months as well. So it doesn't happen to the ladies only. It also happens to both ladies and men because both have breast tissue as we have said above. So these are temporarily and usually disappear in a few months as well. What are the causes of breast lumps? What causes breast lumps? Number one, we have breast cysts which are soft and fluid filled sacs. Breast cysts which are soft fluid filled sacs. 
Number two, we have milk cysts, referring to sacs filled with milk that can occur during breastfeeding. Bre remember breast, breast uh, lump is any inflammation or any engorgement in the, in the breast, be it normal or abnormal. So milk cysts, referring to sacs filled with milk that occur during breastfeeding. We have fibrocystic breasts, which is a condition in which breast tissue feels lumpy in texture and in, is sometimes accompanied by pain. Definitely when there is an inflammation or there is a lump, there is a compression of the nerves involved and that causes some pain. So fibrocystic breasts, which are, is a condition in which breast tissue feels lumpy in texture and is sometimes accompanied by pain. Number four, we have fibrocystic fibroadenoma. Fibroadenoma, meaning non-cancerous rubbery lumps that uh, move easily within the breast tissue and rarely become cancerous. So it's it's benign or non-cancerous. Fibroadenoma, meaning an uncancerous rubbery lumps that move easily within the breast tissue and rarely become cancerous. This marks the end of our video today and I hope each one of you, because this topic was the most requested topic by the ladies. So if you are there, you requested it or not, there is a lot to learn in this topic. So continue following me, continue subscribing, sharing and liking uh, this video so that they may reach as many people as possible and help the community at large. And if you are within the coast region, you want the better services, better services, you can always uh, look for us. The number is on my bio. So you can always contact me and I'll give you the directions. Let's have a good day ahead.